Sunday Draft Stars. I hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Dogs v Titans, Cowboys v the Tigers here, and you'd hope a, a pretty nice matchup for the Cowboys there, so I'll be looking for some outside backs in that game. And Dogs v Titans, there's always some sneaky fantasy options or draft stars options here, uh, as, as of always, in the outside backs and, and some hit and miss guys in the halves, that's for sure. But outside backs here, plenty to talk about. Scott Drinkwater, obviously, is the headline with Murray Talangi now that he's back from his, obviously, COVID week away. Murray's been super consistent. You've seen the same with Drinkwater. So I think you can go for either one of those guys. I definitely think there's some options elsewhere down the line as well if you wanted to go for that. But if you do have the extra cash and you're not going to use it on guys like Reese Robson, then I'd suggest that Drinky or Talangi are going to be great options there. I think that the Cowboys can put a bit of a number on the Tigers here. And that left-hand side with Talangi could get a, a double, for, for example, there. For sure. Brimson, definitely a solid one uh, up against the Dogs. He's had one low game in his last five. So everything else has been above 50 playing in that one position. But just be aware that the late male might throw Jaden Campbell in these in the 17 jersey right now. He might end up in that one. So just be aware of that. But if Brimson's at that one spot, then I think he's a great option there. Holmesy always been really, really strong, especially this last month. Lowest score of 42.8 and has that upside, that 70 upside there a couple of weeks ago. So 13 and a half thousand. If anything, over a 40 is a big win. Adokar's always pretty solid here. You know, had that one low game, but other than that, as a 35 as his lowest in the last six, which is really, really good for a guy under 13K and up against the Titans. So he has a, a, do it, a, a good, sorry, a, do it, a, um, a, a good chance of, of scoring well for you there. All right, we move down the line a little bit and someone like Karaz at 10 and a half thousand is always pretty solid. The last two games have been a bit quieter for him, but he has that upside. You can see here the 56 to 71 there at 10 and a half thousand. It's always a great shout there. We've got Sasifa Fafita who had a great game last week and I think he's pretty close to a must have in that game at 9,700. The output that he did running out of his own end was the big one. So ran for 200 meters. So anywhere, anytime you can do that, there's gonna be some tackle breaks available and a great chance to get anywhere above that 30 mark. So he's a solid one. And you've got guys like Declan Casey who had a really, really good game last last week. Obviously a poor one on debut in the wet. So bit of a risk, but definitely a solid one as well. And Kabar with two 35 scores in his last two. So they're all the solid guys I'd be looking to pick up in the outside backs. On the halves and hooker side, I'm probably gonna steer clear of Reese Robson if we're being honest. I think that there's more chance that he gets a 50 odd this game. Probably a little bit more to do for a lot of the outside backs in, in this game. Tackling might be a little bit lower for him as well. He If he does score a try though, he can obviously go big, but I think he can spend a little bit less elsewhere and get some better output. And someone I think who's gonna play pretty well is Adam Dewey, who's obviously priced accordingly now to that 98.8 at an outstanding game. But I think you can get anything above a 55 for him, considering he's gonna be doing most of the kicking. Uh, you can see that obviously the kicking's a little bit more advantageous in in this game here on draft stars so he's got that he runs the ball tackle bus all, all of the like so if they can put on a few tries he should be able to benefit from that i believe and someone like jackson hastings is another another very interesting one uh in in this game but he is going to be in the in the forwards this week which is very interesting but in terms of other guys that are of, of, of an option here we've got maddie burton who's always solid had three average games for his price let's be honest the last three weeks but against the titans i think he can come out and do really well. Someone like Sexton is gonna be a little bit more up and down. So if you can handle him getting a 20 odd or a 60 odd, he's just very, very difficult to pick. But if you get him if you get him when you he, when he's right and he gets a 60 odd at 14 and a half K, you you and you've picked him over someone like a Burton, you've obviously spent that money elsewhere uh, for, for better avails for sure. Aaron Clark's an interesting one at 11.7. So he's got some decent scores here, even off the bench. He's got the 37s, the 75 last week in you know playing that big big time through the middle so that worked out well for them will that happen again i think it can maybe not to that extent but somewhere above the 40 mark and that's what i think similar similarly for aaron bruce here 41.2 at the nine position getting 60 minutes and i think that he can do that again if he gets similar minutes which i think he should there's only some up i would only say there's upside for him heading into this week so that's the halves and the hookers the forwards there's plenty of good options but i'm going to stick solid with david fafita 20,390. The three games that he's had 80 or 80 minutes in the second row, he's had 66, 78, and 78. So I think you've got to pick him up, take the risk. Uh, I think that this is the week to do so. If we're looking lighter than, than that, then Axon Hastings is the one I'll be looking at here at 18,000. So he got 66.6 .6 last week in that 13 role playing 80 minutes. So plenty of run meters, 
plenty of tackling uh, and, and did, uh, did end up getting a try assist as well. So Hastings did well there. I think he's a solid one. Someone like Lucio Lua, probably a little bit too expensive for me in the front row. I think he can get probably around that 40 mark. So is that worth it? I'm not exactly sure. Someone like Luke Garner at 12.9 is a solid one. He's been hitting that 40 each and every week. So you get that at that price, you're really happy. To Alangi there with 10,750. He's scored 33 or above the last three weeks, so decent as well. I think Raymond for Talamarana is a very, very easy one to select in this week. Got a 53.6 in some nice minutes last week. So if you can get anywhere near those minutes, I think you'll be getting 40 plus and absolute steal at 10,480. So there's definitely some cheaper guys that you could pick up in this game that could be worthwhile for your squads. There aren't too many on this lower price bracket. So I'm gonna leave this video there with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got plenty of benefit from it. Jump in the description below, hit that sign up link guys and get cranking, get playing on Draft Stars in these two awesome games this Sunday for round 19. See you later guys, have a great day.